Tina Zink and I am back to share a fun project with you today. I'm going to show you how I decorated recycled jars into beautiful glittery candle holders. So let me show you how. Okay, so to start I have my Big Shot die cutting and embossing machine. I have my magnetic platform and my two plates and then I've just pulled out some of my dies. So the first jar that I'm going to decorate is actually a square jar. I have no idea what this is from. I can't remember, um, but it's one that I recycled from something. So the size where I'm going to be decorating obviously determines which dies I am going to use. I like these two dies from our detailed um, Dear Thinlet dies. I'm taking a piece of computer paper and I'm just folding it in half just to make it a little bit thicker when I run it through and I'm going to end up with two I'm also going to use some star dies and all of the uh, supplies that I use will be listed in the description below our still scenes bundle I'm using these trees as well so I'm going to slide that up and just put that on like that. Put my plate on and run it through to cut. Okay, I have all my die pieces cut, so I'm just going to put those aside. Now I have another piece of computer paper and I am going to cut along the long side, kind of wavy, and then this is going to be my snow base along the bottom of the jar. I'm going to cut another piece along here. taking my snail and just adding a little bit of my adhesive on the bottom and I'm just going to tuck this inside the jar and just push it down at the edge and into the corners. This is just going to be our guideline. This is going to be our template on where to put the glue and ultimately the glitter. So this is why I cut another piece. I knew that wouldn't go all the way around. I'm not worried about these bits here because I can just adjust my glue. That's just a guideline. Okay. Let's put a deer in there. I'm going to put one on the other side as well. Now my trees. There are my die cuts on the inside. And I think I'm gonna add some stars. I'm just putting a tiny little bit of adhesive behind these. You don't need a lot. Okay, I think that's good. 
The next step is adding some glue and the snow. I'm starting off with our fine tip glue pen. I'm just going to outline the trees. And I'm just kind of making sure I'm pulling some of that glue out on the edges. And this doesn't have to be perfect. The paper inside is just basically a guideline. I'm kind of filling it in the middle, and if it's not fully covered, that's okay too. And then the base of the tree. You want to work one section at a time, so I'm just bringing in a piece of computer paper. And I'm using our Dazzling Diamond glitter. And I'm just going to shake it right on. Brush off any excess with just a dry paintbrush. You don't want to go over where you just went with the glue though. You need to give that a moment to dry. And because some of that glitter stuck to the glass, I think what I'm going to try for the stars is adding a little bit of our embossing buddy. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to work on this star now. I recommend dabbing it in the center first because if you get any bubbles, it's easier to uh, stay in the shape. around, do the same thing, dab on our embossing buddy, I'm going to do the star first and I'm just going to continue all the way around. Now here I'm ignoring that little bit that's kind of coming up from the snow bank. Going along the outside, I'm going to come back to those antlers in a moment. the antlers I'm literally just going to scroll some little swirls you can see I missed a little bit so I'm gonna add a bit more glue Instead of using my fine tip glue, I'm going to use my liquid Tombow glue, and that is because it has the wider edge. And I'm going to dab some more of this powder on. I'm just dabbing it along right now and making my snow banks.
I'm making sure it comes up to the deer and down along the bottom. And I'm going to go all the way around and then add my um, glitter. Once you have all your glitter on there, all you're going to do is just set it aside, let it sit overnight to dry, and then we are going to remove the paper on the inside. So it's the next day, I've taken out the papers that were inside and I have my pretty decorated sparkly candle holder. And let me show you how pretty it looks with the nice red candle inside. Really shows it up with the bright candle. So I made another one and this one was using um, dyes from our still scenes. So we've got the houses and some trees and the church, I'll put the candle in again, really stands up with the red on the inside, super pretty and I did this exactly the same way, that's the polar bear and the deer. And I added a couple of stars. Really, really happy with that. And I have a big jar here and I have an idea for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and decorate this one as well. I have cut out this die from our Detail Deers die. So I'm going to stick that on. And I'm actually going to use a piece of tape to put behind the antlers. Now if you don't have die cuts, I'm going to show you another way you can do these. I'm using my Dashing Deer stamp set. I'm going to put this on my block. I'm taking my ink pad. Such a pretty stamp. I'm just going to trim this out a little bit. Now we do have a die for this, but I want to show you how you can do this without dies. So putting some adhesive on that, and I want this one to go on the back side. So I've got the deer standing on one side and the deer on the other side. And now I'm taking some of these copper stars. These are in our 2019-2020 Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog. And I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive in the center. I'm going to put that, whoops, tilt it down, right in the middle there. another one and then I can still use these stars afterwards for my projects okay now these little stars I've already used them on other projects but I can use those as a stencil so I'm gonna cut those out little adhesive behind them. I'm going to put one here. And I'm going to put one down here. Cut another one out. I like to work in odd numbers. So there's uh, six elements on there. So I want to have a seventh. And I'm going to put this star right about there. Okay. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and add my glue and my glitter and I'm going to speed up the process. Okay, so I've added the Dazzling Diamonds to the deer and I worked in sections so that the glue wouldn't run and then after I did my deer I just sapped it with my heat tool just for a few seconds just to kind of set that glue so that it wouldn't um, run because they are such big pieces. So now I'm going to move on to my stars. And so instead of using Dazzling Diamonds, I am going to use our new Stampin' Ice glitter because it's a little bit chunkier and not as fine as this and I'm going to use that glitter for the stars. Now that I have my stars outlined, the bigger stars, I want to add some dazzling diamonds in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have all my uh, glitter put on, so I'm just going to take my little tool here and remove all the bits on the inside. I've removed everything and I've sapped it with the heat tool so it's dry. I'm just going to lightly brush off the excess glitter. These are some um, of our faceted gemstones that I used my blends marker to color in red a while back and I don't want red on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out two of these. These are going to be for the large stars. So I don't know how this is going to work. I'm doing a bit of an experiment but I'm just going on top of these gemstones with my first mark and then I'm going to sprinkle on some silver embossing powder and heat them. They are on plastic, so that plastic's probably going to melt a little bit, but I don't want to take them off because of the adhesive behind them. So let's see what happens. So that worked pretty good. So I'm going to take one off. There's a little bit of red showing through, but nothing too major. 
I'm going to put that right on the center of that star, which is why I didn't put glitter um, on the center of the stars, because I knew I wanted to put an embellishment. Now I'm putting some tear tape right around the edge for some ribbon. So I've just misted these with water and now I'm going to give them a spritz with my champagne shimmer mist. I have a video that shows how I make this and I will leave the link for that below in the description. And those will dry pretty fast. I'm just going to set them aside. Okay, I have two stars. These are die cuts from a leftover project and I had cut them with uh, silver glimmer paper. I'm going to glue those together. That's a tiny little dollop of hot glue right in the center because I'm going to add a rhinestone and rhinestones won't stick to glimmer paper very well. I just had a thought to sponge on some frost white shimmer mist over the whole jar. So I'm either going to ruin it or it's going to look good. I think it's going to look good. So I'm just using a sponge. There it is, my finished sparkly candle holder. I'm really, really pleased with this. I'm not sure if I'm going to put a big red pillar candle in it or fill it up with some greenery or maybe some water with some holly sprigs and berries and some floating candles, but I can't wait to use it my holiday decorating this year. I hope you enjoyed watching today's video as much as I enjoyed creating these. Have a great day.